hello you're welcome to this tutorial in this video i want to quickly show you how you can create your vpc using travel module so a travel module is a reusable collection of travel configuration files that encapsulate a set of resources with defined behaviors parameters and outputs allowing for easy integration into your IAC here um we'll be using uh, a vpc from terraform from public terraform registry and um that will be aws so all you need to do go to your browser type terraform registry and click on browse modules and it will get you to this page all right so the advantages of using a uh, module to create your configurations right because also uh, specifically for this vpc it saves you time so at that time you will spend in your ide trying to gather resources together to create subnet internet gateway and other components um will be taken away all right so there is standardization so public vpc modules provide standardized configuration based on uh, best practices right there is community contribution as well so this is actually well maintained and there is feedback from terraform community ensuring that they stay updated okay there is flexibility so vpc VPC modules typically offer configuration or configurable parameters rather um, allowing users to tailor VPC configuration to specific project needs all right because you can define your CIDR block your subnet layouts and gateway configurations okay so let's select the provider we are interested in which is AWS and this will now list the resources all right that you can provision using modules so I can see this one Terraform AWS modules VPC so I'll click on it so this particular modules will help us um, provision our vpc alongside the components like subnet NAT gateway internet gateway route tables and all that you can actually scroll down and usage i'm gonna click on copy because that is the module that will be uh, defining in our vs code okay if you scroll down you can actually read more about NAT gateway and other resources that this will provision for you um so this will basically provision 31 resources right um having used this before to provision that uh, 31 resources right i'm gonna show you in a second so going to my vs code i've only configured my provider uh yeah i've just i pasted my provider here right and so i will just create a new file here and name this vpc.tf and then i'm gonna paste the module configuration here all right so this is a terraform module named vpc okay so the source is terraform aws module slash vpc slash aws okay um so the name here is my vpc and then i can actually change it to demo vpc or whatever name you want okay so you can basically customize uh stuffs that you're seeing here these parameters are customizable okay for the cider i would like to leave it this way so for the exes here because in my providers.tf i've actually uh specified that my default region should be us east one um so i would like to change it to us east 1a and then this will be us east 1b why this will be us east 1c okay um this is b gonna get rid of this double quotes all right for the private subnet i have 10.0.1.0 24 and this way i think i'm okay with this private subnet so i don't really have a specific requirement i'm working with but if this is um 
if you're basically doing this for you're using this in your organization, you should know the requirements of you know the resources that you want to provision and you can actually customize that okay so I don't really have issue with this uh enable gateway yes I want uh gateway to be enabled and uh, for the enable VPN gateway uh, I'm gonna set that to false I don't really need it okay uh for the tag Terraform equals true environment equals the so this looks good and this auto saves all right if it doesn't auto save you can manually save your configuration file then i'm gonna right click just placing my mouse on vpc.tf or any other file i'm gonna uh, click on open in integrated terminal and i want to use bash I'm using git bash terminal though and it doesn't matter the terminal you're using now i want to run terraform in it uh initialize the backend initializing modules now it is downloading terraform.registry.io and this is the version so let's give this a moment Now it is initializing provider plugins and it is installing HashiCorp AWS 5.35. This, this is what I uh, I have in my providers.tf. Now Terraform has successfully initialized. Now I want to run Terraform plan and this will give us execution plan basically to contain all the resources that will be provisioned for us so let's give this just a few seconds to display great so you can see that want to add that means we are creating 31 resources from this module right so this is an execution plan and if you take a look at them and um that seems okay to you then you go ahead and provision them okay so it will list the resources for instance this is default network acl that so this looks okay so the next thing i want to run is terraform apply i want to add auto approve so i don't need to confirm it manually okay so the creation process has started and it doesn't really take time awesome so the tetuan resources have been added now let's head to awesome tetuan resources deployed now let's head to our aws management console and confirm this ppc all right so i'm gonna click on your vpcs and click on vpc here you can see I have a demo VPC here which has been deployed and if I click on subnet we should be able to see three public subnet and three private subnet okay go to route tables and see how the route has been configured I can see there is a main uh, we have main route table here and a public route table was created three subnets are associated with this public route table we also have three private route tables and each private subnet has been associated with uh with each private route table okay and um so if i take you to the route for this public route table you can see that the route is actually making use of internet gateway so that it can be uh, um, our resources can have access to the internet okay and for the private route tables if i go to the route uh you see not gateway so in case you uh you want to learn this manually right via the management console i have a video on that 
And for this one, uh, for the routes, I have a NAT gateway attached to that. So let's go to Internet Gateway, and we have Internet Gateway called Demo VPC provisioned. Scrolling down, let's go to Elastic IPs. Um, I believe we should have three Elastic IPs, right? Each has been attached to our NAT Gateway, just to ensure we have a static IP address. You can see NAT Gateway. Uh, that has been attached to this and then scrolling down going to NAT gateway we should also see that we have um, three NAT gateways you can see three available all right and each of these NAT gateways are making use of elastic IP address well basically this is how to create your VPC using Terraform modules uh, specifically using a uh, Terraform registry module, right? Coming back to the terminal, I want to run Terraform Destroy because I'm not really going ahead to use this uh, just for the purpose of this video. So Terraform Destroy to get rid of these resources. Um, okay, this should be Terraform Approved, sorry. All right, so, and remember to destroy yours if you're done using them so that AWS doesn't greet you with bills. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop or give me a thumbs up just to encourage me, all right? And please subscribe if you are yet to do so. Click on, on the notification bell so you get notified each time I publish a new video. Thank you so much, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.